So hello guys, welcome back to Dreaming Falcon. Right now we are in another city in Poland, which is Kraku. And we, we just we saw a mall behind us which is central yeah. mall. Because we went out from the train and actually you will cross the Yeah, mall. one thing which I observed here in big cities in Poland, as soon as you come out of the railway station you enter directly into a mall. So this is something unique exactly. which I observed. So right now we'll be going to a cafe called Cafe Carlota. It is one of the must visiting cafe here in Krakow. It, it is a cafe where you can find French breakfast and French food. No, but yeah, I mean, okay, you very can delicious. very delicious and it is uh, it is something that which if you come to Prague you have to try. And right now we'll be going to that uh, cafe to have our breakfast, and then we will be traveling around the city, and we will, you will see the whole city in this vlog. So stay tuned. Lots of more, much more fun coming ahead. See you guys at the cafe. Bye bye! two things one is a seasonal sandwich and then we have ordered a Charles breakfast so in Charles breakfast you get this bread baskets with uh, two sweet creams you can say coffee egg and some white wine so this is what we have ordered right now we will try how it is and then we'll tell you so we are excited to try some good French food so hello guys, hello. right now we j are just done with our breakfast in this French uh, cafe called Carlotta. So how did you like it? And it was amazing, it was so delicious. The bread was so tasty, it was melting in our mouth. We first started from croissant and it was so amazing because it was melting. I have never tried in such bread in my life to really? be honest i mean this was the best croissant i ever had yes and not only croissant to be honest even sorry for such a detail but even an egg it oh. was so delicious i thought that it can be nothing so like it's easy to cook an egg right mm -hmm. but no there it was something special so i recommend it exactly we tried this sandwich as well cool seasonal sandwich yes. which was made from tuna fish amazing sandwich i'm telling you very delicious food and it's a must try when you come here even even the cream this oh, raspberry yes, cream we had this raspberry cream and this caramel cream with yes the bread it was it was amazing really and plus delicious. champagne for breakfast <laughs> Okay, it's a French breakfast. So. Exactly, you can allow yourself a little exactly. bit of alcohol. <laughs> so you can try many things here. I would recommend this Charles breakfast a lot. The rest you can just try. Also try creme brulee. How was of it? Oh, I mean, it was unbelievable. It was amazing. Everything was so delicious. Try, ev try everything. Try, everything. I'm try what you want you. to try. And everything would be delicious. Really. From the simplest thing, thing to the most complicated. In the sense of cooking. <laughs> Hello guys! So right now we are at the main square 
of Krakow. I'm my first reaction. Such a beautiful place. Such a beautiful place. There are so many things here. I mean, okay, she knows it much better, so she'll explain you everything. I will show you the places. So let's go. First of all, this is behind us. Charge the uh, of Saint Maria, mm -hmm. and you can see how it's up. Like it's very, yeah. very beautiful. We will go inside. I hope so. This building, and we will talk about it more there inside because mm -hmm. I think that we will find out more information about it also inside, and we will show you what's going on. And also behind exactly us, exactly opposite to that. Yeah, exactly opposite to that. On the one main square, because yeah. it's a big, big main square to be honest. There is a trade market. You can go there, and it was from old times. People were selling stuff there, and during the like, Polish history, always was like here this market, old square, Platz Rynek. We call it like in Polish like this. Mm -hmm. And we will go inside that and you will see that there is still trading going on. So for a lot of decades, uh, people still sell something there and people buy something there. So it's a cool tradition to gather in the center of the city where you can meet other people from all times when there was no internet connection and other stuff. So people had to come here and to see uh, other people and also to talk and to buy something for their families. So why not? Also, of course, uh, churches here, a lot of a lot of churches because Poland is Catholic country and very religious country and on Sunday nothing works there because people go to churches, people take a rest as it's written in Bible, <laughs> they have to have day free. Mm -hmm. So it's a tradition and you can see like Polish history here on the main square of Krakow. Very, very good. <laughs> So guys, that was some alarm or something. Not alarm, like <laughs> alarm bell, but like it was the announcement of uh, exact 13 hour and every hour here you will hear some sounds, some songs and again it's coming and I think it will be like three times mm -hmm. as it's like announcing that right now it's one hour. And then it's second. Then it's, I don't know, third hour. And then people understand when they have to rush home or no. So it's like a bell. Yeah. It's like an alarm. <laughs> <laughs> but unique tradition. Yeah, unique tradition. People are gathering and it's like it's cool Just to moment to do this. Everybody's standing yeah, here. It's like it's like a cool moment. I think in Prague you will also find this clock where uh, figures are starting moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at exact one hour or twelve hour. Right now we came outside the church. You must have seen in the video. So beautiful. It's very beautiful. Lots of detailing, so many different colors. I am like, I mean, you're impressed a lot. Yeah, lot, lot impressed. I mean, we saw different churches. We saw churches in Cologne, in Milan, in Dresden, Berlin. Prague, yeah. yeah, but this church, 
it it is really i will rate it like one of the most beautiful churches i have seen so far really good worth visiting okay they they have signs that you cannot go and shoot inside but you can because everybody like did. you can but just not cross the boundary yeah. which they have and you can if you are a religious person you can go and pray there yeah if you want. so guys hello right now we are in inside of this bazaar which you saw from the center of the square and this bazaar you saw it outside right yeah, now we are inside inside of the bazaar and you can see behind us the whole bazaar it way to the other end as well and there are lots of shops lots of things you can buy purses jewelry souvenirs and a lo lot many things bags so, clothes everything everything you can buy everything it's like a trade center yeah. and also in this bazaar you can see behind us on the top there are like symbols exactly there are symbols of each city of Poland and uh, as we basically say in Wrocław we found here the first uh, So we are excited, let's go inside the bazaar and let's see the bazaar. bazaar from the other end right here you will find the bulge tower bulge tower is a tower in the center of the square and it's really beautiful i mean this is a huge huge square lots of beautiful buildings lots of architecture lots of history and lots of cafes you can eat you can walk you can spend you can spend the whole day in the center of the square yes exactly so such a good place and so beautiful you can you have a lot of cafes here you have a lot of restaurants you have a lot of entertainment here only in, in every hour the square is different because different stuff is different, going on yeah different things are going on and i am telling you especially one of the most beautiful squares i have seen in europe yeah. especially during daylight and nightlife can we come here during the night of course so we'll come here during the night and show you how it looks and also like poland is known for such Amazing. Because it's, it's, it's the best.
came here to the other location, which is the uh, again the church. How unexpectedly, but and why this church is so much important because uh, here the parents of uh, John Paul II, uh, the Holy Father, uh, was Polish basically, and uh, his parents took here marriage. And also here you can see a lot of statues, like 12 apostles, not a lot, but 12. And they are very beautiful, and that's the reason why this place is so, so uh, important and so much visited because it signifies how religious Poland is. So guys, right now we are inside the Wawel's palace and you can see the palace right here. Where kings were behaving. Lots of kings from Poland were living here. This is a monument of dragon and this monument is here because this is the chapel. It's known? It's known. No, it's not a known. It's a symbol of the Symbol city. of dragon. this city, dragon. And this dragon breathes fire. It's so clear. So we will show you the dragon breathing fire in something. I don't know how much time, but we'll surely show you. Surely. So guys, right now you saw a video of Yusina buying few bread. So in in Krakow, we saw we are seeing such things in from since morning. Like these yes. are like small stalls. Some they sell some bakery, which is typical for Krakow, mm -hmm. and it's like it looks like big bagel, I would say. And <laughs> sorry, insects. So it looks like a big bagel, and it's with um, how this thing called? Sesame. Sesame. Sesame, and with um, another kind of fin. Yeah. And also there are mixed ones, and it's just bread which you ha can try. It's typical for Krakow, mm -hmm. so why not? And, and it's dragon right dragon. now. <laughs> it's it's fire. Right here. Okay. You can see. Woo! That's cool. Yeah, and so this is something which you have to try in Krakow because it's a street food here and you will find lots of stalls all over the city. Yes, exactly. So hello guys, right now we are uh, in a little bit different part of Krakow. We are in the Jewish district and here we are going, going to see uh, a lot of uh, Jewish synagogue for example, Jewish library okay. uh, and also a lot of stores and market. A lot of stuff, so we will show you this uh, district a little bit and you can also explore it with us. So, let's go!
right now we had an amazing dinner at a Michelin star restaurant called Nota in Krakow. So this this restaurant was awarded a Michelin star in 2020 and also in 2023. Uh, and we had what, so many things, so many things. So, so many first things. of all, we had the starter and main dishes and wine. Yeah, and I would really, really recommend you to try the lamb lamb hip there, which is yes. a starter, amazing. And of course, they have a wine wine corner uh, So if you want to try some wine, you can you can check it by yourself. Which wine suits you? Which wine would you like to have based on what you want? Most there are very limited dishes. You won't get a, a lot of options as it is in lots of Michelin star restaurants. But it's worth an experience. I recommend it. A it lot. It's very delicious. A lot. Amazing food. So that's it from Kraku. No, we, we still have to go to another place where we are going to try different kinds of vodka because Poland is a country of vodka. Of course, it's the main alcohol here, I would say. Exactly. So we'll try different kinds of alcohol, <laughs> different types of vodka, not lots of alcohol, just vodka. And we'll now go to the center of the city uh, and see how the center of the city looks like un in lights. Yes, exactly. So let's go. It's night time right now. It was daylight, right now it's... So you're going to see it, how it looks with lightings. Let's go! Okay, so guys, right now we are here to eat a traditional Polish uh, sweet. Yes, sweet? Which, co which calls ponczek. Ponczek. It looks like this. It looks like this. You can have it. And we took it from this very small cafe. Yes, exactly. And we are going to try it try with it. jam. It's with jam. It's very sweet, it's very, very calorie and delicious. So you can try it as well. And when so, you go to Poland, yeah, so I right totally now. recommend it. Perfect. So let's try this and then we can go to the vodka bar. Exactly. Perfect. So which one is this one? Chili chocolate. Chili chocolate. Okay. Caramel. Caramel. <laughs> Raspberry, raspberry, black currant, black currant. Lemon, lemon. Rose. And rose, perfect. So guys, these are the three, no, six different types of vodka. The most popular ones which you have here. And we are gonna try them. And we are excited. So this one is chili chocolate. Yes. This one is caramel. This one is uh, raspberry. Blackcurrant, lemon and rose. Exactly. So we are excited. Let's go. Try it. So which one should I try first? Let's go with. Let's go with this. First. Yeah. Because it's something very. Different. <laughs> exactly.
Oh my god. Oh, okay. So it's it's like hot chocolate with vodka. Plus also it's spicy. Okay. No, it's good. Okay, perfect. Great. Yeah. Um, oh no, I see you. For this, I'm ranking six out of ten. Six out of chocolate, ten. Chili chocolate. chocolate. Okay. Caramel. Nine out of ten. Fuck it. Nine good. out of ten. Yeah. Oh, uh, raspberry. Raspberry. It's a pretty common one, but it's really good. So. Eight. Okay. Eight. This one is un it's a surprise. I'm telling you, for me it's nine because it was a surprise. It's like different. You don't expect the taste. Nine. This one is okay. basic. Seven. Seven. And rose. Uh, eight. Eight. Okay, yeah. so this one wins. Yeah. It because it 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 gives you a different. Taste. It's surprising. It's not what you will expect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So that's vodka factory cafe. <laughs> we have the shots. So guys, I will rate this one. Uh, yes. 7, 10 mm -hmm. from 10, this one 8 from 10, this one 7 from 10, this one 7, no, 8, 7 from 10, this one 6 from 10 because very light, like almost nothing, and this one is the best, 9 from 10. That's it. That's my rating. Perfect. So now we'll try to finish it. Exactly. It's a lot of alcohol. Yes. We'll try. We don't want to get drunk. We have to go back to Broadsmoor. Exactly. Four hours in the train. Four hours in the train. I hope we won't laugh. <laughs> the whole trip. <laughs> it will be fun. Exactly. So that's it from Kraku. Exactly. So I hope you like the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to Dreaming Falcon. Dream big, fly high. Bye bye. Dreaming fast. <laughs> She's already drunk. Exactly.